You know, it's it's amazing to have uh, an exhibition uh, here in my in my hometown. I was born and raised in Warsaw. Um, I left when I was 19 years of age. Uh, I studied at uh, local schools. First, uh, a park hall school, uh, where near my home, and, uh, and secondly, at uh, the Bar Beacon uh, Comprehensive School, as it was at the time, and um, then to Warsaw College of Arts through my foundation year in art, and then onto the Royal College. And, and you know, since 2004, after leaving the Royal College, I've uh, made a, uh, quite a large body of work, and this is the first time I've been able to see this amount of work in one space and in the UK. And it's, it's, it's really um, exciting to see, to see it all together, to see all the work working together. And, and it's, it's, it's amazing to sort of bring it together so it have a, a, shows a kind of incredibly clear vision, which I've never been able to see before. The first uh, photograph in the in the exhibition that uh, you see is, is of a, a squash court um, picture, the wall of a squash court, which was taken in my primary school, uh, and it really shows this sort of fascination with the relationship that photography has with painting, and um, and then you see that fascination develop into using books, music, uh, sculpture, and this overlaid. Um, image making of compressing time. In the first room you see some of my earliest photographs made with books. Uh, one with uh, Roland Barthes' Camera Lucida, uh, which is a very influential book in photography. And then you see uh, a sculpture made with all the music of the Goldberg Variations and uh, Schubert's Piano Sonatas, uh, Wagner's Parsifal, and a lovely little series of photographs that uh, were taken from Edward Moybridge's Rising series where he photographed um, people getting up from chairs or getting up from the floor. And I really love that moment where I've always almost um, added a narrative to the pictures that were very scientific. But once you layer them, it creates this beautiful play of of, of, of relationships between sort of what I call the ghostly figure and to the figure that they're sort of looking at, which is, which is, which is, um, which is great. As you move through the exhibition, you see uh, sculptural works. One of the ones which is behind me now is called Seven Times, and that was made uh, in 2010. And what it represents is uh, a particular spiritual place called the, the Kaaba, in Mecca, that Muslims circle, um, and usually on a pilgrim pilgrimage called Hajj. The actual footprint of the sculpture itself is the, the footprint of the Kaaba. So what I'm trying to do is invite the viewer to feel part of the space, to circle this sculpture. And it was influenced by a very um, great minimalist artist called Carl Andre. And these steel cubes almost have a very spiritual quality to them. Um, as you move through into the other rooms, I've made two new glass works. My work has now developed to using glass, um, sculpture, uh, using glass as well. And then as you sort of leave, then you come back to my uh, more recent photographs where called Conflicting Lines. The series of Conflicting Lines is based on, on uh, war images or images of conflict, where I've looked at these images online or in, in newspapers and I've photographed um, my own painting in the studio, setting up a canvas and coming in every day as a sort of daily ritual and writing onto the canvas. Every time I write something, I photograph it and then I, I take it away, I rub it away and then I photograph that. So all the images, when you accumulate them into, into one thing, have the traces of the mark made and the traces of the mark deleted. And then when you add them all together, you get this amalgamation of information and time almost unfolding in front of your eyes.